South Philly is more front Christian. Not so much front, we had to drive a little bit. But it's like, go to Christian, turn on front, keep it going, look where you go and you'll find it. We'll put the address on there too. It's like a New Orleans style restaurant. They have cold boys, they have crawfish, they even have a hurricane here on the drink menu. Super excited to be here. I cannot wait to try my food. I decided to go with the shrimp po' boy today because I haven't been to New Orleans in three years. And I want a shrimp po' boy. Alright guys, so you know it's Jay-Z season. So um, that's what I'm going to start all talking about is Jay-Z. And if you didn't know by now, I love Jay-Z. I looked at a few of the past posts and it seems like I'm talking about him like every week. And so what? Because I love Jay-Z. It's Jay-Z season. He has a CD out. He's releasing videos. His tour is coming. He's on tour with Justin Timberlake. He's in the media. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is uh, the comments that he made when asked how he felt about Harry Belafonte saying he could do more for, I guess, the inner use or whatever you say. I can't quote him. But he said something like he thinks Jay-Z could do more for, I guess, the inner city youth. And Jay-Z said that his presence is charity. And a lot of people didn't like that. I actually had one of my friends at work call me up. I didn't know he said it. And she's like, what you think about your boy now? What, you, mean, you let me know what you think about that. Then I had one of my friends come up to me at the church. No. I mean, we just we was in fellowship, honey. And it turned into a Jay-Z conversation. She also wanted to know what I thought. And I mean, the best thing I could come up with is this. His presence is, is a charity. Mm, I don't know, but it definitely makes a difference. What I need to understand is how much uh, responsibility is he supposed to take for the inner city youth. So if 10 little boys, I'm talking, I'm going to say grew up on Jay-Z because he's been around for a long time. Grew up on Jay-Z since 96 and they see how he started off hustling and then he went, to, he went this route, he went that route. He's now grown to the man that he is in the entertainment industry. And out of ten, five of them said, I'm going to get off this corner because I can do so much more. It worked for them five. The other five just kept listening to the music. They liked what he was saying, but they didn't really put forth the effort to change. Is he responsible for all ten? I mean, seriously, get off his Leave him alone. Leave that boy home alone, why don't you? I'm not offended by him saying that his presence is charity enough because I do believe that his presence, be it in song, video, interviews, or whatever else, whatever else have inspired a couple people to do better. Like, I know a guy, he used to like really compare himself to Jay Z. It was kind of odd. Like, if he would say a line, he would say, Yeah, because you know what? I used to do that. But he's doing well now, so maybe Jay Z has something to do with that. I don't know. But I'm not offended. I'm not offended by what he said, and neither should you. You shouldn't be offended because actually it's kind of true. Did you see the supposed reunion that he had with Dame Dash? Um, they were at some girl named Shaka's party or something like that. I mean, it's supposed to be a reunion, but peep the pictures. Jay-Z's arm was around Shaka, and Dame Dash's arm was around Jay-Z. I'm not saying he's mad at him or not, but child blue. Y'all still listening to Holy Grail? You better be. My song of the week is BBC. I love BBC. Listen to Holy Grail, buy it, and listen to BBC. I love BBC. You know what makes me uncomfortable when it comes to Jay-Z? Jenny Ambrose, like I'm so uncomfortable with her post and her just the things that she just alludes to, like oh, just finished wrapping up. Everybody's like, oh, you working on Holy Girl, you working on Holy Girl. But don't be on no bed with no chain. I was just got finished doing. You make me, I don't like that part. I don't care if y'all are friends. I, it's, I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Have you guys been watching The Real? Today uh, ended their four week trial period, I guess you'll call it. And I hope you guys support it. I did. I love it. I think that show is so decent. And it gives us a little bit of what The View doesn't. And I'm not saying bad things about The View because I love The View as well. But when I, when I watch The Real, I'm so engulfed. Like, I know, like, sometimes every hot topic The View loses me, depending upon who is visiting. But with The Real, I'm there for the entire show. I love everyone that's on there. I love Bonnie Love. I didn't even know I liked her. I didn't know I liked her. She's like my second cousin now. That's how much I like her. Keep him, I want to like 
put ketchup on hot dogs and stuff at the barbecue together. I like her. I want to hang with her. You ever like see somebody and be like, oh my god, I want to hang with her and live. I like Ronnie Love. And I love Tamar. Tamira Maui is crazy. And the Asian girl, Jeannie something. I don't know. But she's something. She's something. Yeah, she's something. I think that the real may come in where the view is leaving off. I don't know how much longer the view is going to be around. The view gave us a 16 year run. You got Elizabeth, she's finally home at Fox where she, where she belongs. And then you got my girl Joy, who's leaving. And um, I don't know, Jenny McCarthy? No, I don't know. And who are they going to get to replace Joy? Uh -uh. I, I don't know what's going on with the view. I don't know the future of the view. Barb's leaving next year, it's her last year. So I wonder where the view is going, but the real can definitely step in. The real is awesome. They definitely keep it real. The topics are crazy good. They have great guests. And I love it. It's funny. It's a little bit emotional sometimes, depending on what they're talking about. It's a really good show. I hope you guys supported them, and I hope they make it back. I hope the show get, gets picked up because it's really, really good. Did y'all see Jay-Z on Bill Maher last week? Jay-Z is so decent. Did y'all see him? Oh yeah guys, my food came. I forgot to tell you about it. It was really good. Remember, I got the shrimp po' boy and it was awesome. Um, can I be honest? Scale of one to ten, it was about an eight because I had one bad shrimp. I don't know what's going on. It, the rest of them were fresh, but one of them were a little, it was just a little something right, fishy, I don't know. But other than that, it was good. They give you these seasoned fries. I think it's like Old Bay or something on there. I don't know. They're good. And so, what I recommend, Cataluma, that's how you guys say it. If you come down here, you gotta be like, Cataluma. But I recommend Cataluma. Yeah, I would. It's a good place. They have drinks. They even have dessert. I will say they don't have beignets like New Orleans, honey. But they have bananas. Foster, pecan pie, blah, blah, blah. They don't have no beignets, baby. You should come down here if you want New Orleans flavor. Shut up. What about Usher's son? Y'all think so? Tamika should get custody? I do. Because Usher took them kids from her. He used her. And then he took those kids away from her because of what happened with her other son. I think that played a part in him getting custody. Or did he already have custody? I might be wrong, but whatever. I think that um, Tamika should get some type of custody now because of what happened. I am glad that the baby is okay, though. That's awesome that he's okay. But I hope Tamika gets like custody or something now, Usher. What about Simon Cowell getting his friend's wife pregnant? That's so ratchet. I mean, people get money and they just think anything goes. That's a mess. And then I heard he offered her like 96 something million dollars to last the kid up until it's like an adult or something like that. Simon, that is so disgusting. You was just on like The View, I think it was, telling him you ain't want no kids. So what you doing going up and have more? Having kids? That's stupid. But you got 96 million dollars just to get away? Damn. I'm I'm Speaking of Jay-Z, I was watching Fashion Police last week. And I don't want to assume, but whatever. Juliana Rancic was um, basically talking about one of these celebrities that tweet back and forth with their fans. I believe they were on the show at the time. And they were questioning her, like Joan and uh, the other two co-hosts were questioning why she even bothers interacting. And so Juliana Rancic decided to say, oh, well, I think it's cute that she uh, interacts. At least she doesn't wait until she has, like, an album coming out. Who are you talking about? Yeah, I understand other people may do this, but I know you wasn't talking about Jay Z. First of all, let me tell you something, Juliana. Stay in your lane. He wears a jacket, some corny shoes. Talk about them. That's what you do. However, you don't talk about nobody yeah, what they do to sell albums. Do we talk about what people do to get views on reality shows, baby? Do we? No. So when it all comes down to it, I really don't care who you were talking about. I just know that Jay Z had just tweeted when Magna Carta and Woody Grove was released. So I, if you weren't talking about him, cool, but whoever you were talking about, don't mention music and what people do to sell, and we won't mention reality shows and what people do to you. I really like Beyonce's haircut. Did Jay-Z approve of that? I know you had to get Papa's approval, honey. It looks really nice. I hear all the backlash. Oh, she got her hair cut like Rihanna. Rihanna the first one to wear a short haircut. I hate people. Rihanna's got her hair cut like Rihanna. No, she didn't. She got her hair cut like Beyonce. But she looks nice. 
y'all hating. You wish you could get your hair cut. Some of y'all don't got the face for it. I'm just gonna be honest, honey. Don't don't copy because that face is not gathered. You don't want us to see all those features, honey. Keep the weed, keep the Brazilian, but you do. Don't don't cut it. Don't copy. Before I get out of here, I want to encourage everybody to go and see Fruit Bell Station. I went and saw it. It was excellent. It was such a good movie. I mean, I cried. Even though I knew what the outcome was going to be, I cried because it was so close to the verdict with Trayvon and it was just a, another reminder that basically they can still get away with killing us. That's just how I look at it. We, we like to preach and say that we've overcome, but here we are, 2013 and they can still get away with killing us. And that is what broke my heart because it just, I knew it, but reality sunk in when I saw, the, especially at the end when the guy only got like 11 months. I don't know if I'm telling the story, but go see the movie just to support and it was awesome. It was awesome. Take your sons, talk to them. It needs to be discussed. They need to realize what's going on out here. And I just overall think it was a great movie. And I really do believe that we should support and go and see it. It was awesome. It was really an awesome flick. And um, on a lighter note, I don't know if that was heavy. But anyway. I'm still trying to get these tickets to see Jay-Z and Justin Timberlake. I wasn't going to go because I ain't feel like it. I ain't feel like Justin Timberlake. But I can't let Jay-Z come and go in my city and I'll be there or I always go see Jay-Z. So that's what I'm on. I'm on that. I'm going to see Jay-Z next Tuesday. Yeah. I don't know when you guys are watching this but I hope you have a great week, weekend, whatever. And go, go to the Legends of Summer Tour too. You go. I'm going. You go. Genie, my genie.